Security. No, I just want to get this done and get out of here. I know you're anxious to get back to your family. Yep. But you know, these things can drag on for a long time. The moment I can tell you is when I go home. Who knows? So, Larry, good morning. We're ready to go in, I think. Uh, so You'll have we... to wait. I'm going to call my wife. Did you do one? Well, not quite. Look close. I'll finish it in the car. Oh. Oh, you got to be wigged out trying to write yeah. in the car. I do it all the time. Well, oh. we're just going to have to rethink this approach of yours to home. Right? It's been working so far. All right, we'll just see what Duke says when he gets back. Okay? And when's that okay. going to happen? I don't know. I expect to hear from him today. Come on, move, move. I've got the book. Move. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh! oh. 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 Is this a mass evacuation? Are you on your way to school? Yeah, that seems like what I'm always doing. Oh, yes. Kids lie. Kids talk. Yeah. you got to hit oh, the road. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Must be a lot of fun around here in the morning. Nice chaos. Chaos. I've got coffee. Do you want some? Yes, thanks. I love it. I haven't had a second cup. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Have yeah. Have this? Yeah. Of course. I didn't let Robin know anything about it, though. You obviously did a good job. She seems very happy. Yeah. I don't know about this, Bobby. I, I just keep thinking they're going to let her free. I doubt it. She's capable of anything. But so Scott Baldwin. He's a tough prosecutor. Oh, I know that firsthand. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't make me feel any better. Well, it should. Doesn't it? Scott Baldwin is a shark. He is determined to win this case against Olivia St. John. What is Olivia St. John's present condition? <laughs> exactly. Is she well uh, enough to stand trial? How should I know? I'm a lawyer, not a doctor. Well, has the yes. doctor given permission for her to stand trial? I don't need permission to prosecute a criminal. Scott, come on, let's get out of here. No, reporters it. write nice big headlines. Look, what is Victor Jerome's involvement in all this? Exactly. Victor Look. Jerome will have his own trial, but I'm sure he'll be prominently involved in his daughter's trial. You sound confident, uh, Mr. Baldwin. You, you sir. Sure well, do. you know, if you got a winning hand, you might as well just push all the chips. Oh, so you right don't... the pot, right? You don't anticipate a long trial? Uh, no, no, I don't. I think the grand jury will hand down a nice quick indictment. Mm -hmm. well, what about oh, Commissioner yeah. Scorpio? If we can mm -hmm. Yeah, what about him? Well, it's a well-known fact that you and Commissioner Scorpio <laughs> don't particularly get along, especially after you prosecuted yeah. his ex-wife. That's, that's right, that's, that's right. Yeah, but you know, that's sort of water under the bridge. You see, Commissioner Scorpio and I are working very closely. All right. Oh, really? Well, that's well, not well, what it is. That's it, that's it. I'm sorry, no more Oh, come on. We gotta go if you had a bird cage, I could tell you what to do with the story. <laughs> We're going to need a lot of birds. There'll be so much press coverage on this. Yes, there will. But you got to let it go, Anna. I know. I know. I do. That's what Duke says as well. Well, that's right. So listen to him. Yes. Do you Hello? Anna, it's me. Hello, oh, we were just talking about you. Bobby's here. Have you seen the newspaper this morning? Yeah, I saw it. Uh, yeah, but Bobby and I, we decided that everything's going to work out just fine. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, look, you mustn't worry about me anyway. You've got enough on your mind. Come on, nonsense. You're the most important person in my life. That's a nice thing to say. I mean that. Listen, I'm going to get wrapped up here as soon as I can. I'll take the first shuttle home. Today? Yeah, today. Oh, that's, that's great. Um... Do you know yet whether you have to testify? No, not yet, but it doesn't matter. That won't be for a week or two, anyway. All right, then. Well, you just hurry home. Yeah, you can count on it. How's Robin? Oh, she's fine. Oh, we have to discuss this homework thing with her, you know. She keeps doing it in the car in the morning instead of at night time. <laughs> okay, we'll work that out. I love you. I love you, too. Bye-bye. You have got a terrific guy. I know I do. I know I do. It's just that I wish... I wish he wasn't so mixed up in this Jerome business. It worries me. Thanks for the coffee, Anna. Mm. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Well, just remember what you said to Duke. Everything's going to work out. Yeah, I know I said that, but I, I don't really believe it. You know what? Will you do me a favor? Thank you. Sure. What is it? Will you, um... Let me see Tom Hardy. Would you ask him to give me a call at... Um, I just, I just want to know how Olivia is, that's all. I will certainly ask him, but judging from the shape he was in at Duke's place last night, I don't expect him to be in early. You 
know, I still can't believe how pushy those reporters were. How do you think I did? You did better than I thought you would. Well, you haven't seen anything yet. Well, maybe I'm beginning to believe that. Good. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I go grab a cup of coffee and you can tell me all about the Olivia St. John case? I'd love to, but uh, I'm a little busy. Tom, it's the man I'm looking for. What can I do for you, Scotty? You know I'm prosecuting Olivia St. John. Well, she's able to stand trial, that is. Oh, anybody can read knows about it. Yeah, well, yeah, it's going to be big. A big, big case here, and uh, we can get a lot of coverage on this. Bet you'd like that, huh? I can live with it. What I want to talk to you about is her present mental state. I have a patient. I'll have to be later. Okay, Tom. It's your convenience. Okay, how about this? If coffee doesn't sound too exciting, how about you buy me lunch? I uh, can't commit to that. Well, can you perhaps commit to dinner, and I will even cook? Ooh. No, I know I can't commit to that. Why? What's the big deal? What's going on here? This grand jury trial coming up. i got a lot of work to do. Oh, yeah? Well, what about all the fun we were supposed to have after we moved in together, swatting together, doing things together? Yeah, I know, I know. That? Well, that's all. It's going to happen, all right? Uh, once I win the case, you'll forget all about all these nights you're staying home playing canasta. Oh, really? Really. Before you know it, we're going to be rolling in clover. Well, let me tell you, Mr. Baldwin, we've got to be rolling in much more than clover. I don't come cheap. I've been wondering about that. How much do you cost? What exactly is that supposed to mean? I'll see you at home. Look, I didn't get a good chance to look at that uh, newspaper article, so I kind of scanned it till when, uh, when I called. That's all right. You didn't have to come over. Well, that's what friends are for, you know. Yeah, well, great. Okay. Right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, you looked okay, so I think I'm leaving. Well, what's, what's wrong? What's the matter? <laughs> D does anything look... Nothing, just the usual, you know, um, death and destruction and uh, all that kind Sit of... Sit down, tell me about it. Look, I have a police department around. We'll oh, about no, that. I don't think so. Now, you've been acting pretty strange recently. Me? Yeah, you. And I let you get away with it the other day, but not now. You're I don't like to be uh, pushed, look, Anna. Look, it's me you're talking to, all right? Now, I know when you're up to something, and you're up to something. I think I should say anything. That's fine, but you're not leaving here until you do. This is AAA important for your ears only, all right? Fine. Catherine wasn't killed in that uh, car accident on the late road. She's still alive? She's been held up at the cottage for the last two weeks. Yeah, your reaction was similar to mine when she sort of just flounced out of nowhere. What happened? What, what, what she, was she saw her leave the concert, didn't you? Yeah, well, apparently, uh, after she left the concert and between the uh, parties, she got this notion to fly to Paris. Paris? That's my reaction. Who was in the car? Well, from what I can ascertain, it was stolen from the airport. We still haven't been able to identify the body, and perhaps we never will. I, I wish, I know I can't, but I wish I could tell Robin. I wish... There's a reason for that. I'm setting a trap for the killer. You want people to still think she's dead? Right. If enough people think that, maybe the killer will get careless, and that's what I'm waiting for. Great. It's great. She's alive. My God, how do you feel? Well, being holed up in that cottage for two weeks is probably more than two grown people should really have to put up with. Well, there was a lot of after dinner chat, but little else, if you know what I mean. No, what do you mean? <laughs> Aren't we the nosy ones? Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever I mean, it probably doesn't mean much anymore because I think after this morning I I might have blown it. <laughs>